long ago when the world was still young. And in a land far away, there was a tribe called the Zala. And the Zala were a peaceful people who lived in harmony with each other, with nature, and with surrounding tribes. The Zala rejoiced when the sky was blue and the sun shone down on them. The Zala rejoiced when the rains came to feed their crops. The Zala rejoiced when the cold came and they huddled together and told stories. The Zala were people who kept sheep, and the sheep were very important to them, for the sheep gave them wool, and from the wool they could make carpets for their caves and for their huts. The sheep gave them wool, and from the wool they could make clothing to keep them warm in the winter months. And of course the sheep gave them meat. And so the Zala were very careful of their sheep, and only the most trusted people could care for the sheep. Amzula was the chief shepherd of the Zala people. And Amzula's job was to lead the sheep from the pen when the sun came up, out into the fields, onto the, onto the land, so that the, fee, the sheep could feed from the grass and from the leaves of the low-lying trees and bushes, to drink from the river's edge. And then as the sky turned red and the sun went down, he would lead them back to safety to the pen. I say safety to the pen because of course, the sheep were in danger of being snatched by wolves, lions, even hyenas, if a hyena was feeling brave enough. And so Anzula had to be careful to ensure that the same amount of sheep left the village arrived at the river and went back to the village in their pen. But there was a problem for Amzula. There was a problem for the Zala. The Zala were hard working people. The Zala were not stupid. It is just that this story comes from when the world was still young, before numbers were invented. And the Zala could not count, for they had no numbers. Amzula could not count, for he had no numbers. So Amzula's problem was how to make sure that the sheep that left the pen arrived safely at the river. That the sheep that left the river arrived safely at the pen and no sheep were lost to protect the people, to protect the wool and the meat that they needed to survive. What could Amzula do? Well, that's your problem. What could Anzula do? He and the people have no numbers to count. So you've got to find a way to help Anzula check that he has the same amount of sheep leaving the pen, going down to the river, feeding on the grass, and coming back to the village at night. There's your problem. All you have to do is solve it now.